The social vortex of historic Paris has swirled and revolved around the prominent cafes and coffee houses. Within the cafe culture, seeing and being seen remains a priority. The environment served as an oasis to exchange thoughts, theories, and ideas. Political discussions, artistic inspiration, and philosophical discourse were stimulated within these comfortable environments. The first Parisian café reportedly opened in 1672. The institution would not become a confirmed social fixture until the early 18th century. Les Deux Magots developed a reputation as a rendezvous for the literary and intellectual elite. The term Magot refers to a stocky figurine from the Far East. The name was lifted from a nearby fabric and novelty shop. Surrealist artists were among the early patrons, followed by post-war intellectuals such as Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, and Albert Camus. The café attracted renowned authors including Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, and James Baldwin. Café de Flore is considered one of the oldest coffee houses in Paris, opening in the 1880s. The name was acquired from a sculpture of Flora located on the opposite side of the boulevard. Flora is the goddess of flowers in the spring season in Roman mythology. Like its nearby rival, Les Deux Magots, the café was frequented by most of the same famous writers and philosophers. Visual artists found their own nesting locale at the Le Dome Café, ideal for inexpensive cuisine, gossip, and trade talk. The clientele became a who's who of surrealist artists. The Chat Noir Cabaret served as a training venue for fledging poets and singers to practice their acts in front of fellow performers, guests, and colleagues. The first venue closed in 1897 upon the death of the owner. Its famous promotional poster has been distributed globally. Today, the intellectuals and artists have vanished, replaced by tourists, posers, and elevated pricing. <laughs>